the next stage in the preserve's history came about 10 years later. The voters of Alameda and Contra Costa counties played a major role, and one of the people who gave them the opportunity was Robert Doyle. Today, Doyle is general manager of the East Bay Regional Park District, but he started out as a founding member of the conservation organization Save Mount Diablo and a part-time ranger for the park district. I was a, a ranger and then I became a planner in the planning department. I was about to go back to be a wonderful ranger having fun at Black Diamond Mines, one of my favorite, favorite parks. And then Hewlett said, no, you're not going back to the park. I need you to do the trail system. Hewlett Hornbeck's dream was a world-class network of trails and parks. He wanted trails close to where people lived in urban areas. He also wanted to provide opportunities for challenging multi-day wilderness trips. So Doyle got to work. He established the Iron Horse Trail along an old rail line that ran from Concord to Pleasanton, and the Ohlone Wilderness Trail in a more remote area to the south. He extended other trails, including the Contra Costa Canal, Lafayette Moraga, Bay Area Ridge, and San Francisco Bay Trails. Later, he tackled a 32-mile-long Diablo Trail through Morgan Territory. Some people were afraid of Doyle because he was intense and knew what he wanted, Hornbeck said in his oral history. But I saw in him what I hadn't seen in anyone else, drive and foresight. When Hornbeck retired in 1985, Doyle replaced him as head of land acquisitions. This was only a few years after California's property tax revolt and the passage of Proposition 13. Suddenly, regional parks lacked secure funding. A $776 million statewide park bond came to the rescue in June of 1988, including a total of $15 million for Mount Diablo State Park and the East Bay Regional Park District. Support for that measure was especially strong in the East Bay, where rapidly growing cities were encroaching on open space. So the Park District and a coalition of other environmental leaders decided to ask voters for additional support for parks in Alameda and Contra Costa counties. With just months before the November election, they began drafting what came to be called Measure AA. My job was to come up with the trails and the, the tra regional trail connections and the land acquisitions and I spent night and day with maps. I came up with about a $400 million program and then realizing we weren't going to be able to do that much, we, I pared it down to about 225 something like that. When I became Chief of Land Acquisition, we had $6 million total. And when we passed Measure AA, we had $225 million. So quite a change. Once Measure AA passed, the Park District suddenly had the money to expand. One of the many areas that benefited was Morgan Territory. It quadrupled in size and became much better connected to other parks. Lands had been secured to link it to Mount Diablo on the west and to Round Valley on the east. At last, there was room to roam for both people and wildlife. 